This is my content. What no. are you doing? It's sunny, isn't it? It's nice. great, right. It's oh, very nice. windy here. Yeah. Is it? The Great Northern, the Great Northern Bushcraft, Bushcraft Conference 2019. <laughs> <laughs> so where we were a few weeks back with uh, Liam and some people, uh, that's Mantor. And that road there is where we came over to here. So it's really, really nice. Very pretty. And just the perfect place for uh, an outdoorsy kind of uh, event. So yeah, as you can see, Mevy's here with his new uh, tent because um, he said he was downsizing, so we got him a tent. Seems to work all right. Um, Greg and Lou are here, me and Mandy here, and Cooper's here as well. We've got a fire going, and um, we're just having a bit of tea. Sneaking into <laughs> Sir Greg's kitchen. Just creating a culinary masterpiece. Oh. <laughs> Got the old chilli on the go. Chilli on the go. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Mm. Been looking forward to this all day. Greg, do you have any? Do you have a catchphrase? Yeah, it'll only take half an hour. Yeah, it'll only take half an hour. But do you actually say that? Yeah. Yes, to me all the time. Can you see my comment? You yeah, because when when Lou when I go into the yeah. workshop, yeah, I don't know and Lou goes, well, how long are you going to be? I always go, oh, I'm only going to be half an hour. An hour. Yeah. And that was it. And that's how it all started. Yeah. And, and, and you never okay. were. You need one. <laughs> mm. You need one. A catchphrase? Yeah. He's got one. I've got <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your catchphrase? Hey, mate. No. Go on. No, 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 go no, on. No, I need to stop it because it's racist against Manchesterans. <laughs> Mancunians. We just have having rolls maybe for afters. Oh. <laughs> How's the fire over there, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> We're just roasting him, maybe he's afters. And there's something wrong with Greg as well. Greg, shorts, really? Yeah. It's about six degrees. Uh, summer. About? You should be a postman then, that's what they do, isn't it? Always delivering. Shorts all year, right? Yeah, yeah, even in the snow. Yeah. Oh, Mevy and Cooper lying on the floor. Mm. Cooper's not lying on the floor. No. He should be eating his breakfast. So, Darren, the urban motorhomer. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, has decided that the um, the gadget fire pit needed some upgrades. Next level. And now you can cook on it. Yeah. You? Yep. Like that. And you can stack logs like that. So ah. they're not gonna fall out. Ah. So you can get a you know bigger logs than that. I like a big log. <laughs> <laughs> and you can. <clears throat> oh them right. So then it's a bigger fire. Because obviously it's not a fire unless it's a big fire. Of course. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is the life. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh my God. Healed. <laughs> they healed. Yeah, but I, that there'd be no thumb left to heal if you had that on it. Mine's better. <laughs> Your Mandy's got one. <laughs> yeah. You've not seen that before. Don't watch all the videos. Like latest technology. Nice oh, the again? Yeah. Oh, Planning room. room. Planning room. Mm. Come on. 
Good. Yeah. Better than the chips. Oh, a lot better than the chips. <laughs> but do you know when you're looking at the menu and you think, oh, I'd love one of them? Yeah. Now I've got it, I'm a bit, oh, I'm over four. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To the first tree. Yeah. First big tree, first big tree on the right. Ready, steady, go. Ready, steady. Now we go live to the studio where we've got an update from the participants of the race who cheated and clearly he's out of breath even trying to explain his cheating. In the after pudding race in Edale, I was the first to set off. I've taken this to the highest level and they've passed the judgment. So I clearly cheating in my favour, which is acceptable at my level of sport. And that is what a race is judged by. Morning. Morning. All right. Yeah. We were a little bit tired because um, we had to get up twice in the night because we left the canopy out with the guide ropes out and everything like that. Um, but it was just too windy and it was still flicking it and it was just resonating through the van. So we got up once to tighten them up thinking that would be all right. And then we got up a second time to uh, just take the canopy back in. Uh, and apparently we woke everyone up. Did we? Yeah. Oh no. But yeah, it's not a particularly nice day today um, at the old bushcraft event and um, it looks like a lot of people are leaving so there's no one next to us anymore and people are leaving now which is a bit weird for these survivalists. <laughs> yeah, you would kind of think that they're yeah. used to it wouldn't you? Yeah, that as soon as it rains they're off and uh, a, a guy walked up to Mandy and went Oh, I love your channel. I think you're brilliant. And I'm like, I haven't got a channel. Yeah. He's got a channel. Yeah, I was stood about, well... Three, I, three people away. Yeah, yeah, a bit further than we are now, two away from each other. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, I, I haven't got a channel. Yeah, and I'm just <laughs> thinking, oh, okay, no worries. Yeah, <laughs> he's a lovely guy and he's off out with his... Um, with his missus to Scotland for yeah. the weekend. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was nice. Yeah. My first, my first... I recognise you off YouTube yeah. for me, so that was like, <laughs> brilliant. Well, I think the rest of the time we were just um, chatting and um, catching up and things like that. Uh, we went to the pub. Uh, the pub, uh, yeah, planning room actually, isn't it? Yeah, um, was so noisy. I doubt any of the audio is going to come out. So I'll give you a quick recap of what happened in the pub planning room, uh, which was we all had tea. Uh, the chip score was five. The chips were dire. And I think five was too generous. Mm, me too. Um, my gammon, um, I gave that quite a good score. I think I gave it a seven or an eight. Nice thick slab of yeah, gammon. Yeah, I like the gammon. Um, the eggs were stone cold, as were the chips, really. So, um, yeah, that didn't help. And, um, and we got soaking wet through on the way back, and we thought to warm up, because it was cold, um, that um, all the blokes would have a race. So Lou was the uh, starter. And she said, ready, set, and then Dave went, and then on go, the th three of us then went. Um, Greg was obviously way in front. Mevy was trying to catch him closely. Um, and then it was just me and Dave at the back. So, um, after all the food we'd eaten, uh, I think we did quite well, really. <laughs> no one threw up. <laughs> and no one fell over. No one fell over or tripped up or anything. No, no drunken stupors, nothing like that. So, yeah, so right now we are having croissant with ham and cheese with ham and cheese done on the ridge monkey um, as usual. Yep. so Amanda's <laughs> having granola with grapes and uh, yogurt and maple syrup yeah brilliant so living in a van showers facilities stuff like that you could do with uh, well, I've heard a lot that people will go to the local leisure center or gym or something like that to use their showers and they just charge a little bit to use the facilities. What I found 
It used to be called Pay As You Gym and is now called Hustle. And the icon looks like that. So it uses your location. Obviously, we're in the middle of a field in Edale at the moment. Yeah. So it uses your location. And if you just zoom out a little bit there, you can see the H's. So the closest one we've got there is in Chapel and Lefrith. So you tap on that, shows you the gym, fitness station from £4.50 a go. New mills. New bodies, new mills from 357. So what you can do is you choose a gym and it says if you want to do monthly, there's no contracts at all, 26 quid if you're local, £3.57 for a day pass. So you buy yourself a day pass or many day passes and you go to the gym and you can use everything. You can use the swimming pool, the saunas if they've got them, if they've got classes you can use them. They've got the high end stuff like the village and um, what was that other chain? I can't remember. Big chain, Bannatines, um, and they're about eleven pound a go. But normally it's twenty five quid to get in, and you don't need to know anybody. So you get a day pass, and you go in, and you use the things, and you have a nice shower, and there's plug sockets to plug you straight in. The din. Straight. <laughs> um, and that's it. But it looks wherever you are, so you don't have to start trying to guess at where you're going. You just go on, look at the map where your location is. You can look at gyms, you can look at pools, you can filter them off to say they have to have showers. Um, I just think that that is a fantastic little piece of kit. And Mandy bought these about two, three weeks ago. Yep. And she's been trying to convince me ever since that I should try them and I'm going to like them apparently. Normally I'm not a pot noodle kind of person at all. So I made a few improvements to the pasta and sauce considering it's John's first try. So uh, I've added a few bits of actual meat into it to try and make it a bit better. So John's first try at the minute is chicken and mushroom. It just looks like pasta. Is it just chicken and mushroom flavour then? Chicken and mushroom flavour but I've okay. put chicken in it as well so there is chicken in there. With some meat and everything. Okay. Okay. Need a palate cleanser. And these are great as well. These are called Bobble. Bobble. B O B B L E. Put your water in, and the neck and everything in there is a filter. So as you drink it, it's filtered. And then these are about seven pound for a pair, and you have to replace them every hundred uses or two hundred uses. I think it's two hundred uses. Yeah. yeah. But you get fresh drinking water. Come on, my dinner's going cold. Cheese and pancetta. Flavour. Flavour. However, there is bacon in it now. Right, okay. Mmm. Mmm, like that one. Better? Mmm. Smash him. Gonna keep that one? Yep. Smash him. Like John's pot noodle challenge success. Woo! My first ever pot noodle. Noodles in a pot, essentially. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yay! Other brands are available. <laughs> yeah, like pot noodles. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, there's, a, there's a little bit more ambient noise here yeah, than there is here. It wraps everything up. It goes it a almost hushly silent. Mm. It? Well, yeah. it does because it's everyone goes quiet to listen to the dude talking. Right. Um, and that's what it takes to edit a video for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> for it, you that care, you haven't seen half. The of average it. was probably around about. Well, by the time you've done that, around mm. about seven seconds of real-time play takes about a minute of work and that's not to make it that's just editing here at the rambler that's ramblers la ramblers we are going to order a beer <laughs> You can see our vans from here, look at that. How cool is that? We're in free! We obviously had such a great time after this, but um, we didn't film anything else that night. And when we woke up on uh, Bank Holiday Monday morning, the weather was torrential. So Mevi, Greg and I decided that we were going to go back to my house and finish editing Greg's workshop video from Quirky. Um, so everyone uh, basically parted company and uh, Dave and Joe went off for the day uh, shopping and that was it for this trip. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.